Well, good morning, family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed day because Grammy is having a wonderful blessed day. It is a rainy day here in Corn in Arkansas, and it's a little chilly, but it's not too bad. And um, I've come to bring you an encouragement today, an encouragement from the Lord so that you can feel good today, be uplifted, be encouraged, have hope, and know that Jesus is on your side and Grammy's praying for you and the Lord is moving on your behalf and he's doing good things and my Bible's trying to fall out of my lap. <laughs> How many of you guys have so much stuff in your Bible? That it's hard to use it. I, I I got all kinds of stuff. I've got uh, obituaries. I've got uh, uh, bookmarks. A thousand bookmarks. <laughs> anyway, I've come to bring you a good message today. It's a message that I heard a preacher preach. And I thought, wow. I have heard it preached before. But it just punched me in the face this week. So we all know that if we have. If I'm talking too loud, I'm sorry. If we just have the faith the size of a mustard seed we can move mountains that's what the word says but i caught a hold of this this week and i want to read it to you it's in matthew 15 21 through 28 and it says then jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and sidon and behold a woman of canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a demon. But, the, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and he said, It is not meant to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Now there's two wonderful things that happen here. One she just was willing to take a crumb from the master's table. And that crumb was enough, enough to supply the need that she had. A crumb from the master's table. Second, Jesus didn't even have to go and cast the devil out. He just said, let it be done. That's how you talk about Superman. Superman ain't got nothing on our Lord. He just said, that old devil's got to leave. You're great as your faith, it's done. And the devil left. That was one thing that I really I really caught a hold of. But the, the other was the, the the crumb from the master's table. So let's let's just go back here and say something. See, Jesus knew that the whole plan would be for the entire world. But God chose to work for the children of Israel. For one thing, they were they were the bloodline that he, that he had to go through to break the curses that had been put upon man and women in the Garden of Eden. So we do know that they you know they always give you the genealogy at the beginning in Matthew. They say and somebody got begot this and begot that, and then they go all the way down to David, and then they go all the way down to Jesus. And we know that the bloodline came from Adam and Eve. And so Jesus knew that this woman, because he's a merciful God, he loved her. But he knew the conversation that they would have and that it would open our eyes to understand that even if you have a crumb from what the Lord has put before you, it is enough to supply. You don't have to have the full meal. Just a crumb. So whatever you're going through today, may it be a sickness, a financial burden. Maybe you want you you fallen out with somebody in your family, and you and you need that restoration made. Maybe you need a new job. Maybe you need a new car. Maybe you just need to get your life right with the Lord and be able to walk in the, in His ways every day. Maybe you're struggling with that. It doesn't matter what you're struggling about. If you can just get a hold of a crumb. From the master's table, just a crumb from the table of God, it will be enough to supply the need that you have. Just a crumb. Just to have faith for a crumb from the master's table. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this Wednesday encouragement. They've been kind of short. They've been kind of short. <laughs> but when you get a good word, it doesn't take long to bring it apart. Bring it, bring it forth. Bring it to the people. Bring it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Wednesday encouragement. Uh, I love you. I'm praying for you. If you need prayer, hit me at grammynane 72 gmail.com or write to me at Grammy Nene, P.O. Box 575, Corning, Arkansas, 72422. So do not forget that tonight we will be announcing the winner of the treat box, the goodie box, and the treats you can't eat box. <laughs> it's got a thousand names, but I, I, I hope I hope, I hope, I hope whoever wins it enjoys it. And I, I want, I don't believe in luck, so I can't say good luck to you. I'll just say good blessings to you. And, uh, don't forget it's seven o'clock Central Standard Time. You do not have to be on the live to win. We will announce it. And then whoever wins will, uh, send me their information through my G, th through my Gmail account. And I'm going to try to ship it on Friday so that you can have that goodie box in by Christmas. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So I love you. And I'm going to pray this morning. I just feel led to pray this morning so let's pray real quick dear lord i just thank you for this opportunity to be with my family this morning my youtube family lord we have never met face to face but i know one day lord we will stand on the shores of glory lord and we will all know each other as we know lord and that we will have a wonderful time for the rest of our life and eternity with you father and i thank you lord if there be anybody in need today lord if there be anybody down lord lift them up if there be anybody that's sick lord heal them lord we thank you lord for your amazing ability to do all the things we petition of you lord for you are mighty and great lord and i just thank you lord for the things that that you are doing through this channel lord and thank you lord for the opportunities that have come about and the people that i have met and lord you have truly blessed me and i just give you the praise the honor the glory in your precious holy sacred name jesus amen and amen and y'all be blessed today be uplifted today and know that he is lord of lord and king of kings and he can do anything anything there is nothing that can stand against him nothing just by him saying demons had to go demons had to go so there's nothing no sickness no nothing be comforted today in jesus name i i love you god bless you till next time i'm grammy nay nay <laughs>